Hello guys, today I'm talking about EEP1 IC programming with Arduino and with a mini programmer, the name is CH341, is available online and easy to find. It's coming with the zip socket and um, is uh, make easy programming reading and take backup from EEP ROM usually this EEP ROM is using with um, BIOS uh, inside the main board or using as data keeper for the Arduino uh, if we are going to take some data inside the Arduino codes this option is uh, the best to buy one e from IC and the size depended to the uh, requirement and also the price of the EPROM is dependent to the size of the um, IC so you can see here in um, Austria I tried to buy um, five different ICs from Conrad company and here is the price is very cheap this one is um, a little bit expensive 1.99 bucks and 0 0.99 for 640 and 256 the uh, REE problem that I'm going to work now is 24C08 this is one kilobyte space for this so uh, I'm able to write down one kilobyte uh, as ASCII characters or decimal numbers or characters so it's very easy to do so at first I will try to talk about a um, mini programmer CH3 um, 141 after plugging this to the USB you can see the LEDs um, going on and don't forget that deep suite this uh, jumper should be 100% at the first one exactly reverse side of the handle right here so the program that you should download the name is CH341 a mini programmer is very easy to find this is the name CH341A and at the um, device manager the um, programmer should be configured in interface and exactly this name USB EEP slash I2C CH341A exactly should be same this in case of any symbol or any red or yellow buttons you should reinstall the um, driver so after downloading mini programmer uh, you can see this X file and after running this is very easy to open this page so at first the down right side you can see the device state is connected and the next item that we should know is the EEPROM type is 24 EEPROM and the name of IC as we checked is 8024C08 like this 24C08 so it's very easy to find this EEPROM and trying to program okay so the 
third item that we should know is the icing pinout and um, we should know how to put the IC into the zip socket you can see that this is a handle uh, and this is the IC so it means that we should put the IC exactly here this IC and I'm going to do this and close the deep socket handle here. so after doing this it's very easy to press the red icon and after pressing you can see percentage here the read speed will be done and the size is 124 bytes it means one clue byte is 1k and this is the estimate time how long it take to calculate and read the file here now is the EEPROM IC is completely empty you can see all is FFF so the F min is uh, 255 min is completely empty by this scrolling down you can check all other line of the one kilobyte space of the IC EPROM IC it's very easy to change the um, value of each um, segment of this memory I see this EEPROM and by changing these characters and by pressing program icon you are able to program this and in case of need any backup or something like this you are able to save this by pressing the save or you can load also saved file from here like the usual applications you are using and hundred percent you know how to do this so in case of reading BIOS file or BIOS data with any BIOS company using this kind of EP1 you are able to take out the IC from the main board put to the insert the IC to the uh, mini programmer read this and you can edit and also you will find out exactly what's going on the IC okay for the next step I tried to download libraries for the um, EEPROM programming by uh, Arduino my Arduino is Mega and, and this version of Arduino is very comfortable and useful with the um, EEPROM ICs and I should say by two type of programming is uh, very easy to uh, do everything with Arduino directly. So here is the pinout for this IC. You can see the pin pinout for is uh, go just Google it and now it's pin one, two, three, and four should connect to the ground, and pin number eight should be connect to the five volt. Is better to take it from pin five volt of the Arduino, like me. It's a red wire and it's good enough to have two wires to connect to the pin number five and number six and the thing that 100% we should do is two one kilo ohm resistors should be connect from five volt and pin number five and number six this is the reason is the um, noise removal because of uh, by connecting the 1k the voltage going down and the current will be emitted with the noise you can see i have 
two blue one K resistors here and this is pin number five and this one number six is connected to the Arduino Mega I will insert the IC to the red boy pin number one two three four connected to ground pin number five and six connected to the positive y1k resistor and also is connecting to connected to pin number five and six for that mega and pin number eight is connected to the um, positive five volt and also pin number seven is connected to the negative negative and it's ready to program. I made two codes for this. One is for read and one for write. It's very easy to download it from Google. And the uh, first code I'm going to check. The mine is no need any library. You can see that I'm not using any library here. Is uh, I'm down, uh, it is downloaded from the Google. I cannot remember what is the website, but it's very easy to download from GitHub. And here, the IC number zero. When we are going to use more than two EEPROM IC, no need to change this. The zero is very good. So the memory address is number one. It can go to the 1023 so starting from 0 is 1 kilobyte so I'm going to um, select number 100 and this is the data that the system will be right on the EEP1 This is the read file. So I'm going to open the write file. Yes. So I'm going to write down in the data and value is 100. It can use as ASCII code or any we can convert it to anything that we want as soon as we read from the um, EEP ROM and also the um, allocation, the location of the um, memory is uh, 1000. In array 1000, I will write down number 100 and the IC is number 0. Is good enough to write down the code? Is done and I'm going to open the serial output this one yeah it will write down exactly number 100 to memory space number 1000 is done okay very good so now I'm going to run the read file this one I'm going to read memory number thousand I will change it to thousand and it's fresh I will write down the sketch and the code I will upload yeah it's done so I'm um, open the serial output exactly we know that the amount is 100 this is exactly the amount that we write down to the EEP1 so this is two type of uh, EEP1 uh, reading and writing by uh, um, Arduino
we know our mega and this is ch341 it make way easy uh, read write make backup and change with the ee prompts from the um, different um, e prom ICs and e prom bread thank you very much for watching this video and goodbye